Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Orange 22 Fishing. I'm so glad you joined us today because I think we're going to have a really crazy challenge today. Guys, as you know, if you have been following us, we are out here at Deep Creek Lake up in western Maryland. And this is a very big lake. I mean, we got hundreds of boats out there a day. It's just crazy huge and it's a really tough lake to fish. But guys, this is what I'm going to be using to fish tonight. This is like a four and a half foot raft and I'm going to be taking it out on the lake and try not to get killed out here with all the waves and everything. The way this thing works is actually like a canoe. We got two little paddles over here. I mean, look at my hand next to the paddle. All right, man. So we're walking all the way down here to the dock now where I can launch this little thing. It's so light I can carry it easily with one hand. It's just a little inflatable raft. I really hope I don't get some kind of big pickerel or pike. If it somehow bit it or something, I would be sinking to the bottom of the lake in a hurry. Also guys, I got my little cooler here. We're gonna try to do a little catch and cook because it is Maryland and you can eat the fish safely out of here. So hopefully we can get maybe a walleye or some perch or something like that that we could cut up and uh, taste test. But for now, let's just try to catch something and get out there, man. All right, man, look how small this thing looks in the water. It says two people or 375 pounds can fit in this thing. I don't know if that's true, but uh, hopefully I can fit in it. We're just gonna go over there towards that red boat and that white boat that's out there because that's where the fish have been hitting in this cove. And I obviously can't go out of the cove or even half out of the cove because this thing is so small and it would take me hours. I'm telling you what, man, it's gonna be a pain in the butt even to try to get my tackle box in this little cooler out there because it's already hard enough. I took this thing out for like 20 minutes just to test it out last night and it was hard enough because look how much space. If I drop my tackle box here and this little cooler it takes up, look, almost half of the room. So I don't know how this is gonna work. All right, man, I'm gonna try to get in here without like falling in or breaking the boat, but it's gonna be a challenge. Let's see if we can do this here. Oh. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm like standing and it's trying to sink on me. All right, I think we're in. Let's get this little rope here off the dock and we'll set off. David's gonna be out here as well, just in case I need some help. He's over there in his kayak. Hopefully he can get some fish on as well. Let you guys get a few more fish to see. But for now, let's just take our time. We gotta try to get over there before it gets dark because this is gonna take a long time to get over there, man. I'm telling you that now. Guys, I've been going out here for about five, six minutes now and I'm about a hundred feet off the dock and we just got a giant weight coming towards us. So I'm definitely not moving very fast. I'll tell you that much. Ah, oh, slowly but surely. Here we go. Two hours later. All right, man. David's pulling me because I'm giving up. I just cannot even hardly move on this thing. So he's going to try to pull me over here. Shout out to David for getting me over to the spot we're trying to fish without all the toil of me trying to do it myself. We are finally over here where I want to fish, but the problem is I'm just getting pulled by the current like super strong. And with me trying to fish and paddle, this is going to be a nightmare in this tiny boat. Why the heck would I ever want to do this? I don't think I'm ever going to do this again. It's bad enough in a kayak, but let alone this piece of junk. Guys, comment down below if you have done anything similar to this, like fishing in a tiny boat. This is actually the biggest lake in the all of Maryland, which is huge, and they got many of lakes, but I am in the biggest one, Deep Creek Lake, in the tiniest boat I've ever seen. And we got a big pontoon boat coming in to give me some more fun, right? I think they're slowing down because they see me. Right by these boat engines, man. I'm telling you, this is the juicy spot in our cove. Let's see if it'll come through for us tonight. Sure hope so. Oh my gosh, dude, we got a fish on. Yes, I was waving to the people in the boat and I got something. Oh, please tell me it didn't come off. It did. Oh my gosh, what was that? that I think that might have been a walleye. Jeez, dude, I was literally, I stopped my lord to wave to the people in the boat. And when I started to reel again, I had something on. And that might have been my first walleye. 
Let's go, dude. You gotta get out there again. Oh, shoot, my paddle's snapping in half. What the heck? <laughs> That's not supposed to happen. Oh my gosh, dude. That seemed like a nice fish, too. Let's get out there again. It's super hard to, like, play a fish in here because I'm so far down, I have to hold my rod actually up, and it's kind of a pain. So I couldn't really get a good vantage point on that fish. My arms are gonna be looking like tree trunks after this, man. I'm telling you what. Come on, white grub, get me a fish. Yes, we got a fish, we got a fish. What do we got, what do we got? What do we got here? Come on, don't, oh my goodness, man. That guy is not big enough to eat, dang it. These things gotta be nine inches. I'd say this is probably a seven inch one. But at least we got a fish in the boat, man. Let's go. I could tell it wasn't that big. Nice. Unfortunately, we can't eat this guy, but a nice little start to the night. Let's get another one, man. First fish in the tiny boat. Let's go. One of these times we're gonna stumble upon a big perch or a walleye that we'll be able to eat. David just yelled over to me. He told me something big bit the tail off. Oh, did we get hit? I think we just got hit. He said something big ate the tail off of his, uh, his white grub. Oh my gosh! That was a fish. That was a nice perch right here, man. It followed it all the way up and bit it when I was pulling it out of the water. I'm just letting it sink for a couple seconds and just like a nice, slow, steady retrieve. And that's, that's how they've been hitting so far. Fish on guys, what do we got? This is better. Is this nine inches? Oh yes, my walleye! Heck yeah. My first walleye guys, let's freaking go. I don't think this is big enough to eat either, but I'll definitely take it man, on the pause. Let's go. A beautiful nice walleye, that's my first one of the trip, my first one ever. Let's go dude. Look at the teeth on that thing man, those are nasty. But I am so happy right now, let's let this guy go, let's get a bigger one. Let's go, that's two fish already. I've been out here 20 minutes at the max and 10 of them were spent getting over here at least. That thing bit like no one's business, goodness. That thing bit right at the side of the boat too. Maybe that wasn't a perch that I had that bit right at the side. It could have been a walleye. I just saw a splash. I don't really know. Oh man, guys, I paused it again, just got nailed. I think that might have been another walleye. Oh my gosh, I just had another one right there. I'm getting bit up all over here, dude. I'm gonna loosen up my drag a little bit in case like a big walleye or a pickerel or a pike bites it right as I'm pulling it out of the water. So I might have a little bit of a chance not to get snapped off right when it hits. The water is actually calmed down. Now it's just perfect out here. No hot sun beating on us. Beautiful, I bet about 70 degrees just perfect out here man how come when we came out earlier we were catching all the big ones and now we're only catching dinks just a matter of time before a big yellow perch or a big old walleye smacks the living heck out of this bait i'm thinking about going back there towards those weeds seeing if there's anything back there because this spot has just kind of died off What was that, man? I just had a bite. Oh my gosh, I just had a big perch try to eat this. Right at the boat. That was definitely at least 10 inches. Dang it, dude. We gotta get one over here. That was definitely a keeper. I gotta tighten up my drag. That's why I got off. I'd say we got about 10 minutes left. It's a race against the clock. I'm putting on the high burners now, guys. We're running out of time in a hurry.
maybe this brand new fish on guys oh this is a oh my gosh oh my gosh is this a big smallmouth bass this is a nice largemouth bass I think guys oh my gosh it just snapped me off that was a ginormous largemouth oh my dang it That was a four pounder. Guys, I just lost a legit four pounder. I saw a swirl on top of the water and I cast it right by it. I just broke off on a legit four pound bass. You gotta be kidding me. Holy cow, I really hope you guys could see that. Oh man, unfortunately I think my drag was just a little too tight for that six pound line. That thing just snapped me clean off. Gosh, dang it. Oh. This is really not a big largemouth lake as we've said in our previous episodes out here, man. But we've had like three or four big largemouth on the line. We haven't landed a single one yet. Oh, that thing was hooked good too. I just cannot believe that just happened. I really thought I was going to get that one in. That's what we needed, guys. That's what we needed. I'm gonna try to turn around here without disturbing any more fish that could be hiding. That thing was fighting like crazy, especially on this ultralight thing, man. I cannot believe what just happened. One little thing that happened earlier, I wasn't even recording, but I went carp fishing because I saw some carp this morning, like I said, and um, I had a big, like three, three and a half pound bass literally on the carp bait I was using bread because that's all I got I don't have any corn or nothing and I was just tossing it right under the dock and all of a sudden a big bass came out and nailed it I got it super close and unfortunately when I tried to net it 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 just popped out because it did a crazy jump so man I'm losing every big fish in this lake oh my gosh dude a giant carp is swimming right under me holy crap that actually kind of scared me because that thing is big wow that was at least a 15 20 pound carp Fish on guys, fish on, here we go. Not even five minutes in, what do we got? What is this? Oh, well, a baby pickerel. A tiny little baby pickerel, holy cow man. First fish of the day. Let's go, first pickerel in the new boat. Let me try to hold him here and get him out before I run into this dock. That is funny man. This is might be the smallest pickerel I've ever caught. Oh shoot, this could be a problem. I'm about to run into this dock. Hold on, buddy. Alright, let me try to stop here at this dock. Oh jeez, don't pop my boat, don't pop my boat, please. Frick, frick. Gosh dang it. This wind is too strong for me. There we go. Alright. There we go, man. First fish this morning. Tiny little baby pickerel. Let's let him go. There he goes. Back under the dock. Dude, I'm telling you, that was forecast in, and I already have a fish. Not what we want, but hey, man, I will definitely take it. Fish on guys. Oh, this seems a little better. What could this be? This is definitely a better fish. I do not know what this is. What is this? What is this? Oh, it's a it's a nice pickerel. Oh shoot, do not break me off, dude. Oh shoot. <laughs> David, I might need some help here. Oh, no. Well, man, I'll tell you what. We definitely found the pickerel this morning.
I snap my paddle in half. It still goes together, but it's just completely snapped and the little screw thing doesn't hold. I'm gonna have to get David to pull me back to shore, guys. This is definitely a big fail and I am never doing this thing again.